so hard by its father, it suffers a seizure. New at four, we're learning more about the baby in the hospital after being shaken by the father. In a newly obtained report, Lee County deputies say that Nathan Stone shook the baby hard enough that it was twitching and had a seizure in the ER and that Stone had been rough with the baby before. The baby is in the hospital now recovering. Sadly, newborns being shaken to the point where they end up in the hospital is nothing new. As Wink News reporter Jolena Esperto tells us why this horrific event is so common. I last told you about baby Rowan Stone, who was shaken by his father and is now spending day 20 here at Golisana Children's Hospital recovering. Now I am hearing from a child advocate who has seen shaken baby syndrome firsthand. New babies come with a lot of new life changes. Some are great, some are scary. When Abigail Girdler took her not even three month old infant to the hospital after she thought he may be having a seizure, she heard something no parent ever wants to hear. I asked her, I'm like, what causes this? And that's when she said, Jacob baby syndrome. And um, mind you, his father didn't really show this through this whole time. His father didn't really show like any concern, any remorse. She told me she left her son, Rowan Stone, with his father, Nathan Stone, who Lee County Sheriff's deputies say got impatient and shook little Rowan while taking care of him. He told her because he wouldn't stop crying. Babies cry. They cry for everything, especially when they want attention, when they're hungry. It doesn't matter. Shaken baby syndrome or clinically called abusive head trauma is 100% preventable. Um, our data shows that the number one trigger for that shaking event is infant crying. And so understanding that infant crying is what helps parents um, recognize the frustration they're feeling. Julie Noble is a Safe Kids Southwest Florida coordinator at Golisano Children's Hospital. Safe Kids is a nonprofit that works to prevent childhood injury. Noble spent more than 10 years working for the National Center on Shaken Baby Syndrome. With that shaking event, it stuns them, concusses them, and, and quiets them. So that's a real um, disturbing fact that that happens in these cases. And coming up at six, you'll hear more from this expert on how to cope with a baby crying and safe ways to try to calm the baby down. At Golisano Children's Hospital, Jolena Sperdo, Wink News. All right, well, right now we are waiting to learn more about the teacher who was hurt in a classroom attack. It happened on Tuesday at Golden Gate Middle School. The sheriff's office says that the student became disruptive when the teacher grabbed a pair of scissors from her. And when the teacher placed her hands on the student's desk, the student then stabbed the teacher in the hand with a mechanical pencil. The principal says the incident remains their number one priority. Well, today was supposed to